welcome to Daily Sourdough. I'm going on an extended vacation, which I'm so excited about, but I need to take care of my starter before I go. And in fact, my starter's been a bit neglected, as you can see by this brown ring around the top and this gray matter that's sitting on the top. Before I go on vacation, I'm going to clean it out a bit. So if you need to put your starter to bed for a little while, all you need to do is take out most of it. And you can either freeze it if it's in good shape or throw it away, which is what I'm going to do since I've let mine go just a little bit too sour. So I'm going to dump out all but about a quarter cup of it. And you can see how dirty my crock is. <clears throat> There's so much buildup around the ring and there is a really gray brown ring around the top. Take a non-metal blade of some sort and this is a ceramic knife and it works really well. You can also use a plastic bench scraper and just run your blade around that gray ring. And this will take it off and I don't use metal because sometimes metal certain metals can react to the starter but just run your blade around that ring to, to remove it it's such sticky stuff then if you want you this is a great time to wash your crock first and remember never to use detergent when you're washing your crock because you want to keep all those good bacteria in there. So just use hot water and let it soak. But I'm not going to wash it today. I'm just going to clean it up a bit. Then when you've got it clean enough, add one cup of flour and one half cup of water. Mix that up and then it's ready to put to sleep in the refrigerator. So I'll be gone for a couple of weeks and my starter will wait for me in the refrigerator. It will be hibernating. And when I come home, I will pull it out of the refrigerator, let it sit on the counter, and then we'll see how active it is. If it gets really lively and bubbly right away, then I can start using it again. If it seems a little bit sluggish, then I will take half of it out and feed it again and it will be good as new. So since summer is coming and people go on vacation, if you're leaving town, be sure to feed your starter first. Give it a little snack and then put it in the refrigerator. And friends, be sure and stay tuned to Daily Sourdough because I have more recipes coming up on how to use your sourdough on a daily basis.